Hey everybody, I just shot a video on the roof, which I will share with you guys about whether or not the topic is whether or not you should tell people in your life that you have hair loss. And this is such a personal individual <laughs> decision. I always kind of say that with everything, but it's true. I'm going to share my experience, but um, I also, and I'm inviting you guys to share yours. And I want to hear from you guys what your experiences were in sharing. If you wish you would have shared, if you didn't get support, did you regret it? Was it helpful? But there is a distinction and a delineation from telling you now that I can do this quite easily and have for a very long time. I have hair loss, I wear wigs, like that became doable only after the point for me personally, after the point I was wearing wigs, which was 2012. It kind of was snowballed into the same uh, process, telling people I wore hair and then the reason why it kind of kind of came together, but I didn't do it before that. And, not much when I did I it didn't get a lot of support so I want to separate that you know um, it's not I can't tell you yes you should go tell people about your hair loss because they're gonna be really supportive that would not be what I feel is a true and accurate statement I think that there could be it could be empowering for you depending on your mindset and where you're at but you have to be very protective also of yourself hair loss is such an emotional thing I do not want to lead you guys down the wrong path. And so that is why I want to provide that disclaimer because I think there's a bunch of people that are where I'm at too. Like which whether they shave their head, wear wigs, don't do anything and they're just fine with it and can tell people now that's a very different place than being in another spot. So I don't want it to be confused where it's like, yes, tell everybody. It's great. I can tell you that it, it is great if you're in the space and ready to embrace it. It's very liberating. But I don't know that I could just tell the, my friend, you know, I think you really should sit this person down and have that conversation. It could make their situation worse, depending on who the person is, depending on their mindset. So I just made a very long disclaimer to the video just because I wanted to keep it topic focused towards being in the infancy of your hair loss. Like that point, whether you should tell people you haven't accepted yet, you haven't gotten to that place of acceptance, however, which way that means for you. And you're wondering if you should tell people about your hair loss. So please, you guys, if you have had experience with telling people in your life before you accepted your hair loss, um, that is that is what I think would be helpful for some women that are in that in that stage right now. And I appreciate you listening to this really long intro video. Okay, on with the video. Hey everybody, it's the return of the rooftop confessional. Um, different wig, same rooftop, and the Invisalign again, in case you're wondering about the altered speech. So I would figure, I figured I would use this time to make a, another video. Um, my eye is watering, don't know why. Um, about something that may be on the minds of people just starting to lose their hair. And that is whether or not you should tell people in your life that you have hair loss. So I have many different portions of this to kind of segue to in my life, but I'm gonna keep this uh, from the start, like on a preliminary level. But because, you know, it's different, like I could say, should you tell people about wearing wigs? I have an experience with that. I have experience with now telling people about hair loss in my life since I wear wigs, which is very different than when I first started losing my hair. So, um, the answer to the question, should you tell people in your life about your hair loss, is a very not helpful answer, which is, of course, only you can actually decide that. But here's what I'm going to say, or to keep in mind, is... I think that when we're dealing with hair loss, we want so badly for people to understand our situation, for people to get what we're going through. And that really is a lofty goal and oftentimes um, not attainable by the people closest to us in our life. Even with <laughs> what I do now and what I have done, uh, with the Women's Hair Loss Project, even with all of that, and even knowing people in my life um, that they know I have hair loss and they know about my site and 
all that. The people closest to me sometimes, not sometimes, often, still, don't really understand, understand the gravity of what hair loss did to me. I mean, to the extent that I made a hair loss site in 2007, seven, you know, and um, all of this, you know, like, how is that not, like, recognized? It's just because it doesn't sink in it, sometimes when people aren't, are, are not dealing with it themselves. And even when they are dealing with it themselves, sometimes they process it in a different way. And that's just the way it is. Sorry, I'm going to have to keep doing this because I have allergies and my eyes watering. And that's actually just the way it is. Wish it could be different. Wasn't. It really kind of isn't that way. Um, you are very fortunate if you find somebody in your life that can really be present for you on the level that you actually find comforting and helpful. If you find one person, just one, you have, in my opinion, won the lotto. And I'm talking about people in your life life. I'm not just talking about people I'm talking about the people that are closest to you in your life. Um, when I started losing my hair in 1999, I did what I think most people would do. I was 21 years old and I mentioned it to my mom and I did mention it to my dad. Um, I don't think I was seeking so much support per se as maybe help or direction of what to do, like, like fix it, you know, kind of thing. But either which way, and like, I'm going to say this with the knowledge that, that I know that like my family can possibly see this and it's just not, it's not a shot against uh, my family or anything like that. It's just the way people handle things and they, they can't understand. Um, nobody in my family from the get-go truly understood the magnitude of what I was dealing with. Nobody. Not my mother. My father one time did say, and this is very early on, like within the first year of my hair loss, like he did say, you know, if I could, uh, I guess maybe he saw I was sad. He, he did say, uh, if I could give you my hair um, to take, you know, to make things better, I would. That's one thing I do remember. Um, but I didn't feel supported, and I didn't feel anybody actually truly got me. So because of that experience, I pretty much lived my hair loss life suffering in silence up until the point of 2007 when I started the Women's Hair Loss Project. I lived my life, one, not really knowing that there were other women like me of my age and going through what I was going through. That's one. But I also lived my life feeling like nobody understood me. My family didn't get it. And so I shut down in that regard, you know. I was so self-conscious about what was going on to me, um, how my hair looked, uh, how, like nobody knew how much it actually destroyed me and was eroding my constitution. And I couldn't really articulate that because I didn't really feel the first time around on the onset that it was understood. So I wasn't willing to give it a second shot. So um, I think when you're telling, I have spoken with people who felt like they had people in their life that were close to them, that really were supportive to to their hair loss, and that made a difference. So there, it does exist. I'm not saying it doesn't exist, but one consideration is to be able to manage your expectations of what you're expecting from that person, because I don't think that everybody is going to be able to respond to you in the way that you truly feel that you need to be understood, and that. I say unfortunately because it's hard to deal with unfortunately that actually has to be okay because it will be very difficult to live you know waiting live your hair loss life waiting for that one person in your life or two people or three people again I'm talking about in your life not online that relate 
and they're like, I know, I, I, you know, I can't, I'm not experiencing hair loss, but I can imagine and blah, blah. If you're waiting for that to happen, you could potentially end up being very disappointed. People around us don't sometimes know how insensitive they are to our situation. Um, having been afforded the opportunity to live a lot of my hair loss life looking like I had hair, if you heard my last pot podcast, because I was, I was born with so much hair, I had more hair than this wig. When it, if I were to say I had hair loss, people would be like, well, you look fine. As though that, like, okay, well, I guess that's fine then. Didn't matter that three quarters of my hair was gone. I look like I have hair on my head, so, okay, it must be okay. So I it pretty much gave up on trying to um, garner support from people in my real life. So I, for me, I was very secretive about my hair loss um, in real life. Um, and of course, until I started my site in 2007, um, I didn't speak about it. I basically pretended like it wasn't happening, even though it was really, really killing me. I basically kept that like a secret part of my life. Um, so when you choose to tell people about hair loss, and I don't know how, now I can freely do that easily. It's kind of connected to my wigs and I tell people all the time I'm wearing wigs. That's a different story. So my thought process right now is different from when I started losing my hair. Um, I think that if I started losing my hair at this moment still, um, I'd probably be pretty gun shy in sharing. I can, like I said, I can do that now because of all of the things I have gone through and like the different stages. I, for myself, I would find it very difficult and I was very let down. Um, so if you had to me to rewind again and do it again, um, without the benefit of, you know, everything else that came after and knowing you have to manage your expectations and all of that, I probably would still be gun shy to do so. I'm really not sure if this video is just to ramble or make any sense. But I hope um, it resonates with one individual out there to know that it's pretty common that even your own mother may not be able to get it. Your own brother may not be able to get it. The person close, your best friend may not be able to get it. They even worse than that, they may actually be insensitive, but they not they don't know they actually don't know they're being insensitive. That's the thing. So it's you know we can sometimes get mad. We feel mad like like they would do something like that, but they don't even know they're being insensitive. I mean, in that case, I do think if you've taken the time to explain to somebody in your life and share that very personal side of you, um, and they are being insensitive. I think it's crucial that you actually do let them know, you know that 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 hurt your feelings or whatever like that, because they're not going to know otherwise and that will just help you further down the line and maybe they'll have, be able to connect with your situation better and help you more um, if you're choosing to tell people. But definitely manage your expectations about what you expect people to be able to provide you when you share that you have hair loss. Um, now, I'm one viewpoint and maybe a jaded one just because I had a rough go at it without support and I know other women had had people in their life that were able to give them more support than I had. Um, so I would definitely love to hear from you guys about with, if you shared your hair loss to people in your life, were they supportive? Were you able to get through to them, like basically explain it to a point where they got it and then were able to help you? Or do you feel like you shouldn't have just you wasted your time telling that person you shouldn't have told them um, what is your experience with telling people do you tell people you have your hair loss um, definitely comment below because I think that going down the line when somebody comes across the video looking for should I tell people about my hair loss they're gonna kind of need to hear more than just my one viewpoint or the thoughts that I've expressed here I think they need to hear from you guys I think they need to hear different viewpoints and like I said I'm only one story I'm only one journey and 
I would like it to be a little bit broader for other individuals that are choosing to make that decision or going through that. Like, should I tell my mom? Should I tell my, you know, friend? You know, they want the support, not sure if they should do it. If you were able to maybe get an adverse reaction at first, by adverse I mean not what you wanted, and then later sit down and explain to your friend, this is like this is what this means, and they got it. Like, I'd love to know that too. I still, like I said, I still have people in my life. I know that I've run the Women's Hair Loss Project for 13 years. They know this part of me. They know that I wear wigs. They know, I mean, my hair is chopped off. I mean, they know all of this. And it's still, uh, they still don't really get it. So that is a thing, even when your whole life is online with your hair loss situation and wig wearing. So, I'm not sure now if that made any sense, and I was really distracted because there's this guy across the way cleaning his ta terrace, and he just keeps looking down. Yep. Hey, hey, it's me. Um, leave your thoughts below. I would love to hear from you guys. Bye.